Hey guys, this is Crawl. Uh, so I recently published this new ship that I made. I think I made it last week. And uh, I still haven't made the videos for this and I will make them and publish them soon. Uh, but the thing is with this ship, uh, its main weapons are torpedoes which are all attached here and on the other side and there are two here which are a little bit different than the ones on the outside and uh, a ship like this that uses torpedoes as its main weapon uh, it can be annoying to create new torpedoes all the time so I've been working ever since I published this ship I've been working on a torpedo uh, factory or torpedo mass production device <laughs> whatever you want to call it and uh, here it is and uh, just ignore this little platform there this is there to simulate uh, you know your station because obviously this would have to be attached to your station so this is only there to simulate a station the factory is this part here and it has thrusters so that you can move it around to attach it to any station and uh, this is made out of large ship blocks so this is why you can move it around anyways so this factory produces torpedoes so that you can refill the ship without too much trouble so I'm gonna go and show you how it works I'm gonna try and keep the video short I've recorded this video yesterday when I came back from work and it turned out to be a one hour long video so I'm doing it again and I'm gonna keep things short so <clears throat> I'm gonna go through each one of the phases real quick then I'm gonna make it work and uh, then I'm going to attach one torpedo to the ship just to show you how I would do it and then that's gonna be it so first you press the button right there the green light will turn red just to signal that it's not safe to start production of a second one right away then um, this welder right here welds this part of the shaft and then these big welders up there they will close in on the torpedo and then they will start welding as they pull back and in a matter of seconds the torpedo will be done then the grinder will come and cut the shaft this landing gear will come grab the torpedo and transfer it over here this arm will come down, this grinder here will take care of the remaining blocks from the shaft. Obviously you don't want them and it would be annoying to have to grind them off yourself. Then this landing gear grabs on to the torpedo and transfers it over here. And this is the final phase, it's just a spinning rack, it's there so you can build more than one torpedo at a time and you can store up to four obviously torpedoes on these and it will rotate on its own and the next landing gear will be facing this way uh, there is a bumper or a stopper here to make sure that the wheel doesn't overshoot because when there's a lot of weight on it uh, from the torpedoes the, the rotor tends to have trouble braking in time so this thing is here to make sure it stops where I want it to stop and uh, there's a small cabin here these four buttons they uh, toggle auto lock on this these uh, landing gears so right now it's on auto lock as soon as a torpedo touches it 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 you know grabs hold of it but then when you want to release the torpedo so that you can grab it using a ship and bring it all the way to your arapaima then you need to unlock those gears and these buttons here are there for that each one of the uh the sides 
here they, they all have a number and the number corresponds to the number of the button so it's pretty simple uh, this button here it will manually rotate the rack so you don't have to produce a torpedo uh, to make the rack rotate you can do it manually from this button right here and this one starts production of a torpedo the same as the button I showed you in the beginning so we're gonna start production here as you can see the green light turned off the red light turned on so right now it is not safe to start production of another one the welder here uh, welded the shaft right there Boom, torpedo's done. Grinder is going to come and cut the shaft. Then the torpedo gets transferred onto the surgical bed for a finishing touch. <laughs> I call it the surgical bed because I don't know. That's what it looks like. I really built this with the intention to save trouble and save time so I wanted everything to be automated I did not want to do anything manually the only thing you're gonna do manually is once the torpedo is completely done and it's on the rack This pulls back up, this one transfers a torpedo onto the rack, and we are done. We have a finished torpedo. <clears throat> There's one little thing I forgot to mention, and I'm going to mention it as soon as we're done here. see there's a sensor there the sensor detects the torpedo tells a timer block to make this thing rotate like this and then another timer block triggers the stopper and uh, this sensor here detects the pillar right there and uh, this one tells another timer block to tell the rotor to uh, reset velocity so basically this one tells the rotor to uh, increase or decrease velocity because it's rotating counterclockwise and then this one tells it to reset velocity but like when there's no weight or extra weight on this thing the rotor stops uh, on its own no problem but with the extra weight it, it's not able to stop so we absolutely need a stopper anyways so I'm gonna produce one last torpedo just to show you that you don't have to wait until it's completely done to start production of another one uh, when it gets transferred to the surgical bed and the arm is down and it started grinding off these blocks the light will turn green so you can start a second well another one from there and you don't have to worry about breaking anything but if you start another one right now I'm not even sure it's gonna work if you start another one too soon, uh, just after it got transferred to the bed, uh, the new one will come crashing down on the other one, which will not be uh, transferred quick enough, so you just have to be careful. So that's why I put the green and red lights here. The green light, if you wait until it's, turn it, it's back on, then you won't have any problems. So 
as soon as this thing is completely down and the grinder starts doing its thing we can press again so like I said if you don't wait long enough and this torpedo doesn't have time to get out of the way and this torpedo will come crashing down on it and you will find yourself with a bunch of repairs on your hands And soon, if I wanted to, I could start producing another one. As you can see, Torpedo is now laying on the bed and uh, this thing is just coming back. So this is pretty much the best timing you can get. This thing is done. We're gonna grab the uh, little ship right there. We're gonna bring a torpedo over to the Arapaima and we're gonna load it onto it. And then this is gonna be the end of my video. Then I'm gonna release another video where I explain absolutely everything in detail. It's probably gonna be another hour long video. It's going to be a very, very long video because, like I said, I'm going to explain everything in detail, but, you know, only watch it if you're interested in making your own factory. Maybe you'll learn something you didn't know. Okay, so this should be number, number two, okay. So we want to unlock landing gear number two. Oh, and like I said, I forgot to mention something earlier. This uh, this little cargo container here contains uranium. Normally, you know, you take the uranium and come and put it into the torpedoes because they require uranium for this little reactor to make these thrusters and this gyroscope work obviously right now it's creative mode we don't need to uh, put uranium in them but you know zero point uh, two that's plenty enough that's all you need to put in there it's not gonna put you in on this on the streets all right <laughs> so once your rack is full you want to come and put uranium in your uh, torpedoes before you take them to the ship or I guess you could take some of your ship's uranium to put in the torpedoes, you know, it's up to you. So, as, like we said, it's uh, landing gear number two that's on the far side, so we're going to unlock landing gear number two. Now, before you start producing torpedoes again, uh, you're going to have to come here and uh, relock the landing gear. It's the same button, it just toggles it on and off uh, so this is one of the things you are going to have to do manually and I guess that we should probably launch the torpedoes on the ship before we try to load some new ones on it I'm 
also getting a little bit closer so that we don't have to go too far when we want to reload. So I think we should be good. So we're going to launch the two in the middle first and then the six on the uh, outside. So the two in the middle are gone very smooth launch we heard a slight bump but it's it wasn't any it didn't cause any damage and then we're gonna launch these so if all of these hit the target the target will be pretty much beyond repair <laughs> whether it's a ship or a station it doesn't matter but then you have to reload now of course you do have some weapons that you can still use we're gonna shoot at ourselves here you just have to be careful when you shoot with these you don't want to be going up like this while shooting otherwise you might hit the merge block and if there's a torpedo attached just don't use it uh, just you know get out of there because these turrets in the back of the ship will attack anyone chasing you and uh, you don't you pretty much never really need to attack anyone that's in front of you because all you gotta do is this and uh, you're at top speed right now show you and now I'm gonna be back at top speed going forward top speed backwards so you pretty much will never need to fight because the amount of ships that can do this they can switch directions on a dime and uh, do whatever they want and reach top speed in a matter of a second and there are not many ships that can do this so the amount of ships that can actually keep up with you is uh, is rather low and if one can keep up with you then you can just attack it with your uh, turrets in the back so that's why you know it's the perfect ship to launch torpedoes because uh, you can stay on the outskirts of a fight and when you finally see a target that you want to destroy then you aim and it, you can aim from really really far it doesn't matter if it's not moving you can hit it <laughs> I accidentally pressed the button to make it go forward, so... stop here gonna go grab a torpedo bring it here lock it on and then uh, we might launch it at the factory just for fun <laughs> so we already have a torpedo that's unlocked over there If you have a team with you, even just two people, that's going to make this process a lot easier. You know, one person uh, produces torpedoes, the other person loads them onto the ship. Or if you, there's three of you, then there can be one person inside the Arapaima, 
one person in the loader ship and one person producing torpedoes. And all of this would be really easy. Now the extra weight from the torpedo is making the ship rotate or roll every time I try to you know just simply turn it's a bit annoying maybe there's a way to build the loader ship so that it's not affected by the weight that much block is right there on my left so I'm gonna place the torpedo facing the right way and right now I'm too too far we're not gonna lock it on using the ship that might create a bigger impact during the merge and that's not what I want so we're just gonna fly the Arapaima close enough for the two merge blocks to attract each other like magnets and the merge is gonna happen on its own so am I close enough Alright, that's how that's as close as I'm gonna get. I'm gonna release, pull back. By the way, this small loader ship, it's it's actually a large ship, it's made out of large blocks, but okay, where's the where's the factory? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I built this one in uh, survival a long time ago. It does the job. I mean, when uh, when I was done with the factory, I just remembered I had this ship, so I made it into a blueprint and pasted it in here instead of making a brand new one. just a little bit and then move closer when I'm close enough the two merge blocks are gonna pull each other like magnets just like this I'm not touching anything right now and it is locked so that's as easy as it uh, it's as easy as this and you can do the same with any of the merge blocks now I'm sure you guys noticed there were two different types of torpedoes on the ship. This is how I built it. Um, I have blueprints for both and they have both been uploaded to the workshop already. But, um, okay, so decoy graphbedo. I call it like that because it's propelled by gravity. It's a torpedo and it has a decoy block at the tip of the torpedo. So that's why I call it this way. And then there's the warhead torpedo or boom pedo. <laughs> um, this is the uh, regular blueprint 
but then there's another one here that says MP variant for mass production variant this one has a shaft underneath this one doesn't so if you're just loading your ship in creative mode you can use this blueprint if you're in survival mode and you need the factory then you're gonna have to use this blueprint it's the exact same torpedo only one uh, this one here has a shaft underneath so this is the only difference and uh, <clears throat> the blueprint that you're gonna download for the factory is gonna have this blueprint um, well Yes, you're gonna have to download that blueprint separately but there's gonna be a link in the description of the factory that will lead you to the workshop page where this blueprint is and there will also be a link to the ship everything's gonna be linked together and it's gonna be a big party yeah anyway So we're going to shoot right there, right, hang on a sec, whoa, no, 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 <laughs> I thought I was on the weapons page, hmm, right there is where we're going to shoot, I think we hit, anyways, um, just like that now uh, yeah I was about to mention earlier that it doesn't matter which torpedo you put on which merge block the uh, timer blocks in this ship are set to detect both different types of torpedoes anywhere so you don't need um, you don't have to put the black and red torpedoes in the front and then the black and you know blue torpedoes on the sides it doesn't matter and uh, you, you don't have to use a different button every time either right now I'm gonna use the exact same button that I would use to launch the torpedoes in the in the front that were in the front here earlier only it's on the side but it's gonna be launched using the exact same button so I'm going to set my spectator cam to see the impact when it hits and it's going to hit right here so or at least close to this I'm going to go on this side instead so this should be good so just put it like this and we'll follow the torpedo all the way there all right six and torpedo is away then f8 we're gonna follow it Whoa, did I? Okay. Well, it seems I missed the, uh... <laughs> oh my god! I intended to hit this thing, but yeah, you have to keep in mind that, you know, ship is kind of large and the torpedo is attached to the very far side of the ship. But this, this is even better. I not, I not only, you know, detached it from the station, so right now it's kind of sinking, there were two reactors powering up the old thing right here, and the torpedo blew both of them up, <laughs> so this thing has no power right now, so this is beautiful, that, that was a perfect hit, I could not have asked for anything better than this. Anyways, uh, video is definitely long enough right now, and uh, I wanted to try and keep it as short as possible, so this is going to be it for now, and uh, in my next video, I'm going to 
like I said earlier, explain everything in detail, how this thing works, how I came up with, you know, each one of the phases and uh, what I did to make it work and describe all of the um, the issues or problems I encountered and how I managed to work around it. And then on my, I'm going to do a third one where I explain how I would go about setting this up in a survival game. So, like I said, that is all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys later.